Today we are taking a look at the BLEXAE, a single action striker fired gas blowback pistol inspired heavily by the FNS9, made by ICS and distributed exclusively throughout Europe by Action Sport Games. This is the second iteration of the BLE series, which was the first foray into the world of gas blowback pistols for ICS, and you will be forgiven for being apprehensive given it's their first attempt. I'm here to set your apprehensions aside and tell you that this is one of the best gas blowback handguns I have owned. The BLE, or Black Leopard IXAE, and that name apparently comes from the similarity of the trigger guard and trigger to the eye of that of a Black Leopard, is a recently new addition to the vast lineup of guns offered by ICS and is an improved version of the original BLE Alpha pistol. I originally had the opportunity to handle and demo the XAE, or Extreme Ambidextrous Enhanced Pistol, at IWA 2017 and recently picked up one from Paul at ASG over at one of the joint ASG and ICS Open Days promoting the release of the XAE and the Mars rifles in the UK market. I will be doing a full comprehensive review of the previous Alpha Pistol in the not too distant future, so keep your eyes on the channel for when that goes live. The BLEXAE is available in the UK from any official ICS retailer including JD Airsoft and Urban Airsoft Megastore, which is where I picked this one up from. It is available in four different colorways, and those are FDE, black, or a black side and a FDE frame, and vice versa. The XAE retails for around £99, with the spare magazines priced around the £25 mark. This puts it well within the budget pistol area and sees it facing most competition from the likes of WE. As you would expect from ICS, the construction of this pistol is very solid. The frame, just like a lot of modern pistols, is fiber reinforced nylon, and the slide, CNC machined aluminium with an electro deposited coating. Other metal parts include the air to barrel spring guide, takedown lever iron sights and slide release. The trigger is plastic, as is the magazine release. The frame has a rough texture to the plastic which aids with grip, as do the stippling along the sides of the grip, which feature an inset BLE logo. If you look closely enough, you might find a tiny tiny little ICS logo amongst the stippling on the grip. The front and back strap of the grip have raised lines to also aid with good solid grip on the pistol, and the back strap is removable. As standard, the XAE comes with a slim back strap installed, but a much more aesthetically pleasing larger back strap comes in the box and can be installed very simply. The ancillary controls on this pistol are all ambidextrous, meaning both the slide and magazine releases can be actuated from either side of the frame. While as standard, the real-world pistol the BLE draws its inspiration from does not have a manual safety, the XAE, in a sense, does. On the left-hand side of the trigger is a push-through safety catch that effectively bars the trigger from being pulled when pushed through to the right-hand side. While I can appreciate the addition of a safety device, I don't think this is the best way to go about it. The trigger is two-stage and aesthetically very similar to that of an M&P or FNS9. If the trigger is not squeezed correctly, the two-stage safety device will not allow the trigger to be pulled to the rear. The front end of the frame features a very standard looking accessory rail for the installation of flashlights, lasers or other random peripheral devices. In my experience, it does seem to be a little thinner to that of a Glock or M&P, which meant to install my next Torch WL10, I had to pad the rail with gaffer tape. Whilst not a severe issue, it probably should be noted. The slide has to vents on either side of the muzzle to aid with reducing the weight and as a result increasing the performance of the pistol. It also has rear serrations to aid with grip retention whilst chambering around. It should be pointed out that you can power stroke this pistol if you so wish. The outer barrel, unlike the alpha version of the BLE, does feature internal threads for an adapter and the adapter required to mount muzzle devices onto the pistol is included in the box. To access the hop-up and maintain the working parts, the procedure is very similar to that of an M&P. With a slide to the rear, rotate the locking lever on the left-hand front end of the frame 90 degrees clockwise. The slide can then be removed from the front end of the frame. Inside, you will find the hop-up dial, which you rotate rearwards for less hop and forwards for more. You will also see the XAE comes very well lubricated from the factory. The iron sights on the BLE are very simple and feature white highlighted dots. As the BLE is only inspired by a real world handgun and not technically a replica of a real firearm, there are no official or replica trademarks. 
You will find BLE and a leopard's head above the words black leopard eye to the rear of the left hand side of the slide and 6mm calibre markings on the front left. On the right hand side rear of the slide it says made in Taiwan beneath the ASG logo and black leopard eye at the front above a unique serial number. On top of the chamber are calibre markings in 9mm. The 25 round magazine is almost entirely constructed of metal. The plastic parts are the feed lips, feeder and base plate. The gas inlet valve is located in the base of the magazine and is accessible through the base plate. These magazines are available as spares and will cost you, as previously mentioned, around £25. We will now move on to the fun part of the review, the chronograph and firing tests. For the chrono test we will be using green gas and 0.2 gram BBs fired through a Fire Dragon chrono. It should be noted that the chrono readings were taken in the studio during the British winter. It's fairly bloody cold. The average result was around 230 feet per second. And this puts it well below the legal limit for a semi-automatic airsoft gun in the UK and definitely safe for close quarters use. For the accuracy test, we'll be firing at an A4 target at around 20 meters. To ensure that the test is fair, the BLE will be locked into a workbench to remove as much human error in the test as possible. As with the Corona test, we're running green gas, we're switching the BBs to a more skirmish friendly 0.25. Now we have seen the results from the range, we will remove the XAE from the workbench and fire it unsupported offhand to give it a more real world test at a range you would expect to be engaging a man sized target in an urban or CQB environment. And as usual, I like to experience the gun out in the field before I make the review. So obviously I have a better understanding of the pros, cons and performance of the gun. Here we see the XAE in action at both Labyrinth in Bury and Swat Kiln in Liverpool. Both sites are very, very close quarters and ideal for pistol games. Even against AEGs and shotguns, the XAE can hold its own. You can see from that footage the gun performs very well, especially in a close quarters environment where quick trigger response and reliability are paramount to keeping ahead of the opposition. Now let's take a look at my final views on the BLEXAE. ICS have again done a fantastic job in creating a new and unique weapon system. The BLEXAE, despite being one of the first attempts at a gas blowback pistol, hits the nail right on the head. It is ergonomically and aesthetically a 10 out of 10, especially with a larger backstrap installed. The gun functions remarkably, even considering that all of the tests were carried out in reasonably cold weather. The slide is very snappy and the muzzle report is crisp and quite loud. Range and accuracy, as you saw in the tests, are what you would expect from such a short barrel and would definitely see you hitting a man-sized target out to about 30 meters without any issues at all. Performance-wise, it has not let me down or skipped a beat over the several games I have fielded this gun for the review. My only gripes are the rail up front being probably only millimetres smaller than other rails and the strange choice of a safety catch, which, as I said when I first handled the XAE at IWA, I would recommend people avoid using. The two stage trigger does a fine job at keeping those NDs at bay, so why complicate that with another safety device? So now the big question. Would I recommend this gun? Without a doubt, its performance is on par to the Marui and WE pistols I've tested and reviewed in the past. And if this is the baseline of what we can expect in the future from ICS pistols, the only way is up. If you found this review useful, hit that like button. And if you have any questions or thoughts on the BLE pistol, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out the ASG and ICS Facebook pages as well as my own UK ICS captain page. If you want to be kept up to date about events, releases, and we can get hands on the XAE and other ICS products to try for yourself. If you haven't already seen the CXP Mars review, 
hit the link in the end cards. As with that video, I'd like to give a big thanks to Paul at ASG for helping me get hold of this pistol. Subscribe for more reviews, gameplay, vlogs and other airsoft misadventures. Thanks for watching, and the UK says Captain McGas, and remember kids, the air may be soft, but our balls are hard.